All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam one, problem number one. All right, so uh, the, the graph of uh, f of x is given here, and we want to sketch the graph of y equals negative 3 f of 2 uh, times quantity x plus 4, and on the outside, uh, minus 2. All right, so th there are a whole bunch of transformation there. All right, so let's uh, look at that. So here. This is our first transformation one, right? That's just a reflection about the x-axis. Right? And the second one, um, let's try that guy, right? So number two, so that's going to be a vertical stretch. by a factor of 3. Right? Then uh, we have another one. So let's try, uh, let's see, tr try blue here. Right? So that's the third one. Right? So if you multiply by 2, that's going to be a horizontal uh, compression or a shrinkage. Um, I'll just say compression, horizontal compression by a factor of 2. Right? And then we have uh, plus 4. So uh, that will be right shifting left by 4 units. Right, then last one that's gonna shift down by two units. So shift down by two units. All right, All right. Let's sketch the picture. All right. So I'm uh, uh, looking at uh, these uh, points, corner points. Uh, so here and there, and uh, beginning points and ending points. All right, reflection. All right, so look at the negative one uh, becomes positive one, so it's going to reflect it over here. This point is going to reflect it over to the other side of x-axis. Same thing here. All right, since this point is sitting on the x-axis, it's actually just going to stay there. All right, so you would have a graph which looks like this. All right. And then second transformation, we're going to do a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. So it's or originally y value is 1, so it's going to become 3, so it's going to go there. This is negative 1 y value, so it's going to be tripled, so it's going to be here. Same thing with this guy. Right? This guy, again, uh, originally 0, multiplied by 3, doesn't, it's still going to be 0, it's going to stay there. So uh, the graph is going to look like this. By connecting these uh, dots together, we have these guys. All right, the next one is a horizontal compression by a factor of 2. Everything is going to be 1 half. Right here, so x coordinate is two, negative 2, 1 half, so it's going to go there. Right, so x coordinate here is actually zero, so divide by half two is gonna still still zero. Alright, this guy is positive two, so one half of that is gonna be one. This guy uh, x coordinate is four, so one half of that is two. Right? So if you connect them together, you're gonna end up getting something like this. Alright, so we have that. All right, then um, uh, fourth uh, transformation, you're going to shift the whole thing by four units. So you just go this point, it's going to go one, two, three, four. So it's going to go there. This point, one, two, three, four. So it's going to go there. This point, one, two, three, four. It's going to go there. And this point, one, two, three, four. It's going to go there. Right, so you have a picture which looks kind of like uh, this. All 
All right, then last step, uh, shift down two units. So this point is gonna go down two units here. This guy go down two units. This guy go down two units. This guy go down two units. And then you can connect them all together. All right, so it's gonna go here and they go there. All right, so let's sketch the final picture on the right grid. So here it's gonna go there and that's going to go there and it's going to go there all right so if you connect them all together you're going to get uh, something like that all right so that's the graph of uh, this given function here all right after the transformations all right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear